Okay, here at the bench. And I figure I'd do a, I won't say brief, because you know how untrue that is, a video of all the background kits. These are, there's an area where I'm going to be using a bunch of the Walther's, different Walther's uh, specifically designed background kits. And I just thought I'd just all together in one kind of video, just kind of what I did. Nothing, I don't plan a lot of modifications to these. Maybe add some details here and there, some roof details and you know, that kind of stuff. But nothing, nothing really serious. So next to the the uh, Lindsay Brothers, uh, the other kit that I have around that one area, I'm going to have two of these. Oops. So I get rid of that glare. This is the Walther Shop building number one. And I'm going to have two of them together. So it can come into the building, uh, you know, as, a, as an industry. This will be served by rail inside the building. And this is the first one. i got some comments on this coming up because this was a nightmare. I'm also going to do two of these together. This is the Armstrong Electric Motors. So I'll have two of these sitting next to each other. I'm, You know, again, a lot of this is kind of fly-by-wire because I've never done that before. And they're designed as single pieces, but I think I can double them up. And then I'm going to have, with the Armstrong Electric Motors, on this kit, I'm just going to use the front part. I don't know if I can do this. And Oh, don't move. I'm just going to use, basically, this little bit here, the front side. The whole, this side wall and the, and the whole front, I'm going to save and maybe use it in the factory area. And I have two of these, so I'm going to have this, 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 another one of these, another one of these at the other end, and somehow, hopefully, make it together into one long kit. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, so those that's my plan for the backdrop. And I need to get these done so I can get the, you know, get the track in and the backdrop done and start moving forward. Otherwise, I just get stuck and never get anywhere. Now, just some quick notes on this. This is their shop building. Maybe it's just me, but to me, this was a terrible kit. Uh, it's It looks really, really simple. I mean, good Lord, the instructions are just ah, blown out, blown out. They're just, you know, typical. And I had to paint everything first and do the mortar, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's all done. Put the window in, put the glass in. Okay, that's simple. And then, I mean, literally look at it. It's, you put three walls together. You put some end pieces in here. You put a roof in. And it's like, okay, this will be done in 10 minutes. I'll have both of these done. I sat down at like 7 o'clock last night. This will be easy. Well, huh, no, it wasn't. And again, maybe it's just me. The, the issue I had with the kit is not so much the walls. They, they, they're they fine. Um, here, here's the bay. I got this one set for the to go next to it. The problem I had was with the darn roof. It just did not fit right. I don't know if the instructions are wrong or if they didn't think about this kit, I could not get this roof in. I mean, I got it in, obviously, because it's, it's sitting there, so I made it fit. But between the roof, the end, this cap piece, and this little corner guy, it's like none of it fits right. It's really, really bizarre. And you'd think, it, like I said, I thought this was going to be simple, and it wound up taking me two hours just scratching my head, trying to figure out how to get the stupid roof in. I mean, I got it. Uh, I don't think it's the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do something to kind of cover up all the the mismatches on this. I don't know, maybe it's me again. If someone else has built this kit and figured it out, let me know. But uh, I really struggled with the with something I thought was gonna be real simple. You know, I still got some gaps. I don't know if you can be able to see them here, but I'm try to get the right in there. That cap piece you know, doesn't fit quite right. It's it's really a mess. Very poorly designed, and one thing I'm noticing on some of these cornerstone instructions is the the, the illustrations aren't all that good. They're, they're very low def, I guess I'd call them, and it's hard to see sometimes. Anyway, so I'm going to make this one work. Again, I'm going to have two of them. So there'll be one here, one next to it. I'm taking the lazy man's way out. I'm basically just going to put them right next to each other. I know it's not right. I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to double up here. It's going to look a little odd here. I'll put some kind of big duck work or something like that coming up to hide the obvious seam in the middle. But I'm just too lazy to try to figure out how to make it all fit together. So, with that, I'll keep moving on. Oh, you see, I did add uh, some of these Walther's lights. I figured since it's an older factory, and I had these in my 
light box. I might as well use them. They're actually bulb. They're not LED, but you know, whatever. So I put. I'm gonna have one here, one on the next one, and then I got one here at the end for coming in the door. Again, I, I kind of like the way they look. They're older looking lights. It's an older type factory, so I figured, eh, that'll be okay. At least there's some light there. I'm probably not going to do any interior lights on this one. Or maybe just a bulb, just to, you know, make it look like people are working. Uh, the other wall, I did do a lot of this ahead of time, is sitting here. You can see I got the light on it. And unfortunately, oh no, you'll also see Looks like some people have got to this building. What I did there, and I'm I'm not sure it's going to look all that right. I'm not even sure it's going to focus. What I tried to do with that, that's a Blair Lines graffiti decal. It's kind of a thick decal, but I put it on, hit it with some Solvo set from uh, Walther's. Let it sit, let it dry. And then I went in, and again, I don't know what's going to show. Because I didn't want it to look... Oh, there it goes. I didn't want it to look like it was just a... Uh, you know, I don't want to say it, uh, a board on the building. I want to look at what's painted on the brick. So when it was dry, I went back with a, a real, a brand new, as a matter of fact, X-Acto blade, cut along the lines of the bricks to try to make that snuggle in, hit it with some more solvable set, and it, it's getting there. So I think it's going to look okay. These are also decals that I threw on there, and now they look all right. So that is still kind of setting up and you can see they had an area where they had to remove some but these darn people came back unfortunately so that's the other one I'm gonna build the other kit this morning I don't know if I recognize that and get these two ready to go because I need to start getting this stuff over on the layout so all right we'll keep kind of going through this again this I mean I had real trouble with this kit I <laughs> I don't know why it looks like it's the simplest thing around, but okay. So we will uh, keep working on these background kits and uh, cover a little bit more as events warrant. Okay, so here's what I mean. I figured I'd show this about the fit up of this darn kit. Got the the four walls glued together. And in fact, that's another issue I had with it. That they say in the instructions. I don't know if I'll be able to make this legible. <clears throat> Let's say pretty much glue the three walls to the base. Well, that's well and good, but this wall won't line up with these walls because the corners are from the pilasters. But they say glue the three walls first, then glue the end caps in, okay, and then glue these on. Well, really? How are you going to do that? You're going to have this and this and this all kind of hanging there in the breeze. And then try to glue this onto this and make that corner. That just seems goofy as to or goofy to me. And so what I did, I actually glued the the pilasters, which are part four, to the wall. I'm trying to manipulate this thing and hold the camera. I glued these on prior. I could lay it flat, I could get them glued on. And then when you glue it together, you know, it makes it makes the corner because they're beveled and everything to make the corner so I don't see how the instructions make any sense in that area and then then they say okay so yeah you glue the end caps in I got that then they say glue the roof in which I think that's how the roof fits but they say to glue this cap in afterwards that's like one of the last things you do but if you do that I have no idea how you would get that Again, I'll try to show this. I th I think this is how it goes. Again, this could all be me, guys. Don't. I'm no freaking master craftsman. See, it's got that little lip on the inside of that cap that I think the roof's supposed to slide into. Well, if you had the roof in position, that I know I couldn't do it. How in the world would you get that cap to glue to the front and then to be able to sl slide underneath? and catch the roof. It just seems like the instructions are a little goofy to me. So what I did, I glued this on, I cleaned up that inner rib. It seems at least to be sensible somewhat. Um, these little corner pieces make no sense to me either, but anyway, I'm not going to order it, whatever. They just, I glued them in there and I'll make them fit and the caps 
help hide some of that. And again, I'll do something to the roof itself. And it still has that little bit of an ugly gap in the front where this cap doesn't meet the end of the pilaster. It's, it's just kind of weird. All right, anyway, just thought I'd show that in case anyone's considering this kit. And again, maybe, maybe it's me. I, you know, maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing. But, I mean, the instructions only have, like, freaking, you know, eight steps. And there's only, like, you know, six major pieces that go together. So, again, I'm not saying I'm the sharpest tool. But, uh, man, I, I'm missing something. All right, anyway. So, I'll get it glued up. Let it set up for a little bit. And then do something to the roof. And uh, try to get these together. Here's some progress on these two Walther shop complexes. I got them together. Eh, well, <laughs> sort of. Not the greatest. I don't know. Me and uh, square corners and lined up lines don't seem to get along too well. But I did get it together. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there in the center between the two. Now, again, these aren't really designed to go together. And it probably wouldn't be this way in the real world. But whatever. That's what I did. So I'll add a little bit of paint to that. I did get the roofs to fit okay in that little corner there where the cap didn't seem to line up. I just added some putty. It looks okay. Because again, these are background. You're going to be about three feet away from these. So it's not like you're going to be right on top of them. For the roofs, you can see I got them fixed up a little bit. Again, they seem to look okay. For the roof on this one, I kind of got lazy. I just used some of this. Oh, there it is up there. Black lava. It's actually a, an acrylic paste um, from Vallejo. That's nice. It's kind of gritty and it kind of looks like a you know, tar paper, sand, what a sand type roof, whatever. It was quick. It was easy. It only took about five minutes to do that. So I was like, yep, that, that's a winner to me. So I put that on there. Now you can weather it. And it's an acrylic, so actually it's kind of flexible. You can actually mix in all the different acrylic paints with it to do different stuff. I didn't do it here, but you can. Added some rooftop details. That's a Walther's HVAC unit that I slapped together real quick. This is a... what is this? Oh, here it is. It's a Model Tech Studios rooftop mechanical rooftop detail <laughs> okay that looked nice to me it was already finished so i just kind of dry brushed a little bit i did have to cut custom oh it sounds so impressive really just pieces of styrene to do the caps here along this big center section because the individual ones wouldn't fit so they're slapped up and then what i'm going to do for this lovely gap i was noodling around and i actually found some sprue and it looked decent. It was enough uh, diameter, so to speak, to hide things. So I kind of cobbled it together. Surprisingly, it's actually pretty sturdy once you get it glued up. Again, these are just pieces of sprue out of the kit. And I like them because, yeah, you can use, you know, like uh, evergreen tubing and whatnot, but how do you make a nice 90 in it? So this already had 90s on it. It looked pretty good. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I drilled a hole in the back there wasn't uh, perfect, but got it there. And then this is going to fit right in here. Something like that. So, so again, you know, when you're back viewing this from across the yard and there'll be all kind of tracks and trains and other shenanigans going on, I think it'll kind of all blend in. So I'll get that painted up and get that installed. Might weather the roof a little bit. And then decide if I want to do more lights. But let me turn it around real quick and just see what's on the inside. Okay, here's the mysterious inside of the building. What I did up here, I just had some brick type material. That I just kind of cut up and added as uh, for the floor. Because you can see, I did have this over in the layout. You can look in, you know, this end door. So I figured, well, I'll put something in there. At least make it look like there's a floor. I'm not going to do a lot of detailing. In fact, probably none at all. The only other thing I might do is along the wall in the back where it sits is try to find the like an interior picture of a factory. 
just to put it along the wall because when you look again when you look in you can see it, roughly the two windows that's why I kind of cut that the, the size it is so just so, I, so when you look in it looks like it's the inside of a factory and not a white wall and that's pretty much it and I did you can see I added some pieces here to glue this together to keep things aligned and I'd say it's not perfect but I think once on a layout you're not going to notice any of my misalignments I have it on this board because it's hard to handle now and now that's glued together I didn't want to you know pick up one side never crack in half so I'll just keep it on this board until I get it over the layout and this, this is, extends down and that's actually how far the track's going to go uh, inside another building so there's it'll look like a, a little bit of a larger complex and that's pretty much it now I do have to run the leads for the wires since there's track there I don't want these hanging in there because you could snag and derail a car and be like the box car go in but the box car no come out so I'll run these wires together again bring a single lead down I'm deciding if I want to add lights here to look like you know factory lights maybe add um, I have one of those welding things LEDs that flash eh. You could maybe add in here like they're doing some work inside the, the factory floor. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting kind of burned out, but I got a lot more kits that I just got to get done because these have to be finished before I can really move ahead. So I might let this set for a day or two because they all have to go on at the same time. You know, think about it and come back and finish things up later on. So, all right, so that's that. The Walther's um, background shop complex cobbled together too long. So despite all the issues, and again, I did not like the way this kit went together with the roofs, with the roofs, with the roofs and everything. Yeah, made it work. Again, it's good enough. If it was a foreground building, it'd be a little bit different. But as a background building, I think it'll serve its purpose. Alrighty, here's the back of the uh, shop one and two complex. And what I've done is I've added the, well, the lights were added. I've wired up the lights. What I decided to do, since it was, you know, three of the external lamps, and I added one internal up there, similar to what I did in one of the other kits. That's going to be able to shine down and kind of illuminate this era, area. And then I added a, a bus. This was just the easiest, to me, the easiest way to do this. So basically I ran 18-gauge wire. Which I know is way overkill, but that's what I did. You can see I have it secured here. And I ran the black wire over there. And the red wire runs up through a tube for support. And then out here. And then all the leads, I, I just brought them in and soldered them on. Added some heat shrink tubing to protect everything. Brought them over on this side. And then... Brought them down to the little fancy dog leg. <laughs> uh, again, secured them in to the building. And then these are the leads for that will eventually will drop through the layout to be connected. So that's that. Everything does work. So that worked out well. And again, I did add some other support just to keep, keep the wires, keep it neat and clean. I, I just like it when it's neat. And especially, well, in this case, since we're going to have, you know, rail cars coming in, I didn't want something dangling down, so it all does work. Um, it's hard to see. I'm not going to bother showing you the lights, but it all does work. And now what I'm going to do, this I'm not sure how this is going to look. I'm, we're going we're gonna to try this here. What I did was I printed off a picture of the internal of a factory. I don't know, just something off Google. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it right here. It's going to sit in there nice. I'm going to just glue it in. And then see what it looks like when you're looking through the door from that side. Maybe even with the light on. So let me get that glued in and, and see what it might look like. Alright, this is definitely not easy to see. But <laughs> you can kind of see what it looks like in there. And If I zoom in, again, the lights and the shadows are all kind of messing with me here. I have an LED light trying to shine some light in there to see kind of what it looks like. 
So then I, then I get shadows right away. So uh, this upper light, if I can. <laughs> but it gives you the impression there's something going on. And maybe I could add some detail parts there along the, you know, right along the back. Ooh. <clears throat> you know, maybe like a you know a torch set or a toolbox sitting there or something like that. Now, if I do it with the light on, let's see what that looks like. Hold on a second here. Now, that's really kind of dark, but that light is on, so you can kind of see. It does illuminate things a little bit. You can see the other lights are on on the outside, so, eh, not terrible. I mean, I've, I've seen worse. So, that is the interior there. Again, I don't think it's going to really be able to focus all that much but again and it's not to really be super detailed or anything it's just to give the impression when you're looking in there that it doesn't go right to a backdrop it's actually part of a building so all right let's get back in the light and see what this looks like so here's the completed kit as I'm calling it, kind of ready to go over in the layout. I've got to do one quick pass and just show everything is done. Didn't change much on the front, but I did decide to go back and weather the roof a little bit. Use some uh, uh, some MIG and Vallejo uh, pigments, some acrylic washes, uh, Vallejo still water effect to make it look like some standing water. Some slight puddles up there on the roof, just to give it some. You know, different colors. That straight black looked kind of mundane. And then over on the little roof access, little mechanical detail, I did add a couple things just to, again, just to kind of show some life. See that little shovel there, and uh, a sack of something, and oh yeah, there's also a little another little barrel left up there from some point in the past. And then some more washes and eh, okay, looks a little bit better. Again, it's background building, so you don't have to go crazy on it. I think in the end uh, the tag there looks okay. So I said that is pretty much ready to go. And I did add, let me just do one quick try to show. I added a some details right inside the, the, the main um, rail access door. Let me see if I can even get a video of that. Okay, this will be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> but I did just add a, a little a dumpster there at the end and a, a toolbox sitting back along the side. Yeah, it's not going to want to focus. But uh, just to give it something to kind of, again, as you look in, didn't want to go crazy to say, oh, yeah, yep, there's something going on inside that building. So, all right, so that is uh, how it's going to look looking through the main door. All right, one quick flyby of the roof here, and we'll wrap this guy up. And... So, this is pretty much not ready for the layout, so this has got to get over there so I can get some other work done. I do need to fit in, add a wall to line it up with the Lindsay Brothers building that's already there. But overall, it's ready to go. Okay, so let's uh, let's get this bad boy carefully moved over and installed on the layout. 